We're so proud to have him in the studio. This, this dude's number one in our book. We're going for the news nerds around here. Alfonso Poncho Ortiz from the Monitor fame. And now he's working for Breitbart, Texas. And he is covering the news and the stories. And I wish at the national level the news gods would pay attention to up up in D.C. and up the in, truth? in New York. But the latest story that uh, Poncho put out for Breitbart, Texas, was um, this mass grave story that they're working west of Reynosa. You know, the first thing that popped into my mind, Poncho, was uh, Tiffany Hartley, the Hartleys. What do you think, man? Any chance that... First of all, they need to find these mass graves, right? They're still looking for that stuff, right? That's correct. Uh, yeah. Right now we have a... Uh, they're just searching for homes, uh, basically empty lots behind uh, properties, uh, uh, irrigation ditches, canals. Any word on how they got that lead? Is it, what are they, what's, a, what's the word on the street on... Uh, yes, yeah, so what I've been told is that uh, they've got a lot of information from uh, what's called declaraciones previas or what... Uh, yeah, previous interviews. Yeah, yeah interviews with uh, suspects, witnesses, that type of stuff. Is this it, an indication that they're finally cracking down on the cartels and, you know, with a military presence just south of the border, increased presence and more law enforcement? Do you think this is a turning point now that maybe they're gleaning information that they need to... I'm not really sure. You see, Mexico's been, it, 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 it's very weird. They've been very good about trying to keep things down low. Yeah. They've been pushing for, uh, you know, always giving you the no pasa nada issue. <laughs> yeah. That's, no, that's nothing true. to see here. Everybody yeah. move on. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So I'm not sure how much attention they wanted to be brought to this search. Yeah. Uh, first well, well, they made big headlines. What was it, like a year ago, Tim, where they said, we're going to separate into four regions and have military commanders yeah. over these four regions on the border. You know, they make big headlines because they, they want people to see them as doing something. But I'm curious if it actually is translating into something. That was my question. And, uh, I mean, so far the they've been searching, but, uh, the, you know, they found a couple, a couple of remains, but that seems that's yeah. about it. They have. I mean, so is there is some preliminary evidence that is bringing them down here that there are indeed mass graves stretching across the northern Mexico border. They're not just searching for a needle in a haystack here, are they? No, no, no. I mean, it, it, uh, looking back in history, and f since 2010, when the Gulf Cartel and the Setas went to war, that's when the people started disappearing. Uh, you were having uh, your massive shootout where it was a four-hour-long shootout, and the government said, oh, we had two bystanders graced by a bullet. In reality, you So that's who these bodies. victims are? I mean, we don't... We don't know. There, there's just so much unknown in these cases. I mean, you have people that may have been kidnapped for ransom, and mm -hmm. their bodies were never, you know, they they were never sent back home. They were they disappeared. You have people that you know were involved in the cartels, and they were made to go away. And then you have all these uh, gunmen that have uh, they've been shot, they died, and then they disappeared. Speaking of kidnapping and ransom, look, another story that you worked on a few days back was the dean of that Universidad Autónoma, the university there in Tamaulipas. Uh, that dean that has been missing since around Christmas, uh, was there was there any ransom asked for for this man? Uh, that I'm not sure. Uh, the, they've been keeping a pretty tight lid on that. I mean, pretty much we had to. Uh, if it wasn't for the the university saying something about it, you know, the government really and the write up on that said that I guess some nefarious organization wanted access, what to the campus to access a pipeline or. A, a spigot, a fuel, or something like that to, to steal some, well, some fuel? Uh, that, that's one of the working theories that the investigators are, are, are following, which yeah. is that uh, behind the Watt campus, there's a gas uh, gasoline uh, line, and the Gulf Cartel has been literally tapping into those lines for years. When they're not able to make uh, you know their uh, ends meet, they just start selling gas on the, on the corners. So if you go to Reynosa, you go to Matamoros, you're going to find them in every corner basically selling gas on uh, metal, uh, glass, uh, plastic containers. Yeah. So that is a big money maker for them. So if you close their doors, I mean, they're not going to be happy. Now, the other theory, and which is kind of something that I've actually been working on also, um, is that uh, in the past uh, couple of uh, months, you've been having um, uh, universities being targeted for ransom. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, you have to pay a protection fee. They had to shut down the campus in the uh, Universidad uh, Valle de Mexico Laredo. in Reynosa and in Laredo. Yeah. Laredo this year. Laredo, Laredo. And most recently in, 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 uh, in Reynosa was in September. Wow. Poncho, thanks for stopping by. Come by anytime. Thanks. Mike's yours, brother. That's us Alfonso Poncho Ortiz, Breitbart, Texas. Look for his reports. The only one doing real work around here.